So the whole experience started uh, a few weeks ago uh, with Sarah Springman, rector of ETH uh, Zurich, having an idea to create some kind of a workshop uh, in Singapore. And we had the idea together with Gerhard Schmidt to focus on the future of urban uh, society. I really appreciated the um, focus on policy and, uh, and having some uh, excellent lectures from uh, world experts in, in policy design, people that actually do this in, in the real world, and uh, just exactly how that works. How do you communicate with government? How do you work with government? How do you make the science and technology have a real life impact. But the aim of the workshop is to tackle complex problems societies of the future will face. Singapore is an island state, a city state, so the question of the urban is foregrounded in this year's workshop. Being Singapore had a crucial part in this because Singapore is a completely artificial um, environment. I mean, there is no way that an island as small as Singapore would be able to sustain six million people. And uh, so that meant that a lot of um, ingenious idea had to be manufactured to, to make life on this island possible. And I think that had a direct impact on, on our projects and how we developed our ideas. Um, I think if you had done this workshop in Switzerland, the, the results would be drastically different because just the scope of what you imagine possible in Switzerland is completely different to, to what you experience here. What I liked most about the workshop is to work in interdisciplinary groups with different people with different backgrounds and learning about new approaches. So we put them in a situation in which, like the open working group of the UN, uh, they had to negotiate that particular uh, goal and then during the course of the, the two weeks to find potential strategies of how to address their challenge. So my group was working on two SDG goals, reducing inequality and health and well-being. We found it important to combine two SDG goals because we believe that these um, massive challenges that they pose cannot be solved by addressing each challenge individually. Our idea was that we would have an interactive floor that would um, allow people to um, be more active in public space and open up um, public space to those that have traditionally been excluded from it in a, in a way that is more fun and engaging than current um, existing solutions. We're focusing on climate change and in particular trying to figure out how to, um, how to put the policy in place to um, fund low carbon technology. The idea is can we, um, can we make Singapore a technology hub for the technology that will be able to be deployed around the world? The Sustainable Development Goal that uh, my team chose was um, the goal number 11. It's called Sustainable Cities and Communities. So um, this goal, we focus on the impacts of climate change. And then we are going to take a soft engineering approach, which is this carbon budgeting system whereby everyone is assigned a carbon budget. So if that carbon budget is being exceeded, part of that person's income will be deducted. The SDG that I'm working on is uh, number 14, which is uh, life underwater. So uh, because of the human activities, there's uh, extensive uh, damage that we do to the ecosystem. So we have uh, ideas to address the coral uh, death, ideas to make sure uh, to come up with a um, change in the diet plan. Species are one of the main sources of proteins. So can there be a change in the diet or change in the mindset? We thought that design could be the right platform, design thinking and design making, in order to find, uh, let's say, uh, potential negotiations uh, between uh, the students in order to solve certain uh, challenges. So we got 48 uh, students uh, to Singapore for a period of uh, two weeks, about 16 disciplines uh, were involved and they were asked to collaborate uh, in groups of six students uh, with challenges that are possibly impossible uh, to solve. 
we all come from diverse backgrounds and uh, myself being from engineering I know a limited I have a limited knowledge about structure but in the design thinking process we are put together with a group of people who are come with diverse backgrounds and during the brainstorming process we come up with really, really amazing ideas I'm from mathematics so it completely take me out of my comfort zone I would say because you have to talk about general ideas and concept and to work in a team which is also something I'm not usually doing so that really took me out of my comfort zone but I really liked it. It has been something new, something that uh, goes beyond uh, the standard scholastic approach of university and, and I think when I go back and apply this new knowledge or this design thinking approach to my own problem in my fields that will really help us or help me and then my group go forward with better solutions.